Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm showing you my Claymobile Country Horseback Ride playset. I'm racing my ponies here and then they're going to go for a bit of a trek. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like ponies, horses and farm animals. And here they come back again. This is the Playmobil Country Horseback Ride set. There's one horse and two ponies and you can see there's a woman rider and a girl and a boy. And there's another little scene you can make. Let's take a look inside. The base, a tree trunk, animals, some green shrubs and trees. This is the base plate and the river fits into it, it just snaps in. I've made a copy of that to make the river longer. And here's the tree trunk that just goes across and they can also sit on that as well. The one in my right hand just pushes into the one in my left hand. Fold it up first and push it fairly firmly until you hear it click. Here's some mushrooms. Well, I think they're mushrooms. Let's pop them in. And the fern. And here's some of the greenery. I'm going to pop the flowers on. There's also some little animals in this set as well. I'm doing the left one first. And now line it up that one clicks in too. These are my little squirrels. They sit on top of the tree. They don't have to but it's a nice place for them. And that clicks into the back hole there. And here's the first horse. This horse has a blanket, a saddle, a bridle and reins. I'm going to put his bridle on. Push it over the ears first and then snap it down. Time to saddle up. Just push this over the top. Now I've put the reins on as well. They click into the side part of the bridle. This horse is ready for riding or leading. And here's another set. We've got reins and a bridle there. Over the top, over the ears and click it down. Such a cute pony. Well trained ponies are good for children to learn to ride on. And I love the colours on this. Let's get you ready for a ride too. Compared to other horses, ponies often have thicker manes, tails and overall coat. As well as shorter legs, a stockier body, heavier bones, thicker necks and shorter heads with broader foreheads. And here's the woman. She's got a hat as well. I'll pop her hat on. I like the way the arms can move. They can sit down, ride a horse and you can even twist the hands a bit. And of course the head twists as well. Unlike a horse foal, a pony remains small even when fully grown. And here's the boy. I like his hoodie. And there's his hat on. Ponies are stronger than a horse of the same weight due to their build. And 
this is the girl. I love her t-shirt there with a the horse on. And she's got matching pink boots and a matching pink hat. Shetland ponies are the strongest of the smaller ponies in spite of their small size. And here's two hedgehogs. The yellow base doesn't come with them. I've just put them on there so you can see them better. And here's my molehill and mole. So cute. In you go. My horse and rider are off to the other stables to see if the horses would like to be in a horse race. The owner of the stable thinks it's a good idea. Let's go and get ready. Let's take a quick look around while they're getting saddled up. In the background we have the farmer and his wife, some kittens and geese. And a cat sleeping on the bench there. And here's the horse stable on the neighbouring farm. They're getting their horses ready. It'll be fun to see them race. And off they go! And let's go back again. Faster! Faster! Now the leader decides to just go on a walk and they've taken the animals on their hats as well. I think they've gone to get the other horses. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Uh oh, who's done that? We'd better clean it up. In it goes, let's take that away. The age of a pony can be best estimated by looking at their teeth. There are over 200 breeds of ponies worldwide. Ponies generally live longer than horses. The oldest living pony recorded was Teddy E. Bear who lived to 55 years old. That is amazing. Sometimes people mistakenly call a horse foal a pony. A pony is a separate breed and a baby pony is called a foal as well. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again. Coming up next is the Playmobil Large Farm. It's a really lovely set and there's a fun ending too. Hi, it's Kerry. Today we're looking at the Playmobil Large Farm. It has 257 pieces in it and you can see a lot of them here on the back. It was really good fun to make. When you put the pieces together, they click. I've taken all the other clicks out because they're a bit distracting. So I'm going to build the farm and then I'm going to show you the animals and then I'm going to play with the farm. I'm going to move it around and try some different things. And of course, there'll be a fun ending. Give a thumbs up if you like playing a bill and farm animals. Can you tell me how many little piglets are in today's video? The large farm comes with an instruction book, but it's good to get someone a bit older to help you. And remember to listen for the click. That little brown bit was where you store the tools like a rake and an axe. Some seating. There's a rake. There is an axe, but it's missing at the moment. I'm sure it will turn up on my table. easy to push together. I've 
put in two pieces, I've put the third one in to show you, it just slots in and slides down. And there it is. In my next Playmobil video, you'll see the large tractor with a trailer. It's really good. And the balcony. The cats and kittens love this. You often find them climbing around it. You can see that just slots in and give it a bit of a push. The staircase fits there. Sometimes I take the staircase off to save him. Ah, the axe is here. And I've made the flowers up and they go on the window box there. And here's the staircase. It's all very lightweight and easy to move. I've put the flowers on to save time. And the outdoor light. I'm going to pop these together and this is how the farmer gets his hay up into the storage area. I've put the string through and it's pretty easy to mount. Another flower box. So easy to do. An interior wall and I stuck the painting on that was in the set. going to start doing some fencing. I'm going to do it differently. And there's the roof. I'm going to make my fencing out to the side and front. You can move the fencing around to suit the animals that you have. The roof looks really good. I'm probably going to change this but that's what I'm starting with. A pig. I really like the animals. Their heads move up and down so they can be feeding or looking or just going straight ahead. Ah, oh, he's moving into the pen. Must be hungry. The head moves up and down which is a really good feature and this is a milking cow you can see the udder underneath another milking cow this one is black and white. And the movable head. Into your pen, that's it. And one of the calves. So cute. Calves love to play and this one's jumping around. And we have geese. There's two geese in this set. And here's the other one with the long neck extended. And another calf. 
I like the way the calves' heads move. You can make them feed from their mother's milk. Another playful calf. And there are three piglets in this set. I'm just showing you one. They're all going in, they must be hungry. And here we have a black chicken. And the rooster. And there are two of these white chickens in this set. And this is the bed. I'll put that up in the bedroom there. And this is the apple tree. This was really good fun. There's three of those branches and four pieces of the greenery. I love the apples that go on this tree. And there they are. There's five apples there. Let's put the leaves on. That's really good. I think I'll put that in the back of the paddock. And this is a plant. I'm adding some extra pieces. And then I'll quickly put the flowers on. And it will look beautiful. What a transformation. And this is some hay where the chickens like to play and peck around. I'm going to put that together quickly. And here it is. Let's scoop those chickens up and put this in place. Let's count the baby chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's feed the cows. I think the brown and white cow looks a little bit hungry there. Let's move him over into the other pen. See how I move the heads up and down then? So they can reach their food. This is for the pig. And this is a picnic table for outside. It comes with two chairs and a little stool. Here's the base. Let me put the top on. Those red chairs are so nice. I think that's a great place for it. A great place to have a cold drink or a cup of coffee. So here's two glasses and one coffee cup. This is the sink. I'm going to install that inside. And the wheelbarrow. There it is with a spinning wheel. And these are my two farm workers. They're always busy. They are able to ride a horse, stand, wear a hat, hold on to something, sit and bend. And this is one of the younger workers. She's quite helpful. She's got apples there in her bucket. And there's a black cat. And a sleeping black cat. And some food for the pigs and piglets. I'm going to take something from the calves, they won't mind. And 
couple of birds for the tree. I hope they don't pick the apples. A milk can and a watering can. So this is how the winch works. This is the milking machine. It looks a bit of a mystery to me. And I've done it. My only trouble is I had a little bit of trouble making it stay on the cow's udder. If I'm doing something wrong, please tell me. A towel for the bathroom and some haystacks and some more bales. A bag of wheat and some green in the basket and another cat a little red box some more farm tools and a broom that's important and a brush for grooming and a book and an alarm clock uh oh I know what that is <laughs> yes it came out the back of the cow Well, that was fun and I've really enjoyed setting up my farm like this. I'm going to make a few changes in a moment and you can have a look what you can do with this. Of course, you can add more animals or more people to anything you like. And I've got some new farm animals coming soon, so I'm going to add them to my farm very soon. Ah, <laughs> the chickens, that's cute. <laughs> So I've moved everything around there, which is fine. I think Playmobil helps to stimulate imagination and develop creativity. I've certainly had lots of fun with it today. And one more move, we're looking at the back. And if you look carefully, you can see the black cat there, all the animals. And some chickens, what are they doing up there? The tools there underneath. And she's petting the black cat while she's reading her book. And another little cat and tools. Such a lovely play set. And the geese are busy there. Now we've got a fun ending coming up, so stay for that. When the animals have a bit of fun. It's a cow race. I love the hats and the pigs as jockeys. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again.